Anyway, hopefully, I'm assuming we're going to go to Smashville for this game. Yep. So Vince Dane's a pretty good Sheik player. Uh, I don't get to see him very often because he, he comes from the nether region that is South Jersey, which right. takes like an hour to get here. Uh, I do know that he teamed with one of our guys, uh, uh, Vivid, who normally comes out to our Philly uh, tournament. So I do get to see um, the name. I just haven't seen the player very often. And I know that uh, Laws is pretty versed in the Sheik Ditto himself. Uh, uh, we have our, our other crewmate, Riz, who also plays Sheik. Oh, yeah, uh, I played Riz. He's yeah. insane. He's yeah, great. So, uh, he should be pretty well versed in the Ditto. Um, you know, I'm curious to see how he's going to do right here. <laughs> Ninja finish. Yeah. Ninja start. That's the only thing I think of when I see Sheik fight. It's actually pretty distracting. It's just like, yeah. I don't want to see your needle rain. No the hard part for watching a Sheik Ditto now is just that, like, these, these characters can kill. Like, yeah. it's, it's a Sheik Ditto of now has become, like, so, like, stale to me. But right now, a uh, relatively even uh, game right now. Uh, Vince Zane's getting a lot of uh, um, grabs uh, on laws right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The other uh, pretty much big pivotal moves in this matchup are going to be Bouncing Fish Reed. So, ooh, and right there, who's going to be more effective at, wow, throwing off amazing side Bs off the edge to uh, pretty much make Vince Zane really, really aware of his positioning right. off stage. Really good spacing by laws. Oh. Oh, synchronized swimming. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Jab, jab into uh, that dash grab there. Go in another grab and pretty much almost miss up the 50, 50 but that I mean, Vincent had the 50. He, he was in the right position. He just went for the wrong move to punish. He went for a fair instead of an up air right there. So. And the salmon going upstream for the bouncing fish. There we go. Gets the first stock right there. Oh. Get a little dancing. Let's go. Hit yeah. them, folks. Get down the knife. Oh. That's a loss trying to push the envelope right there. There Ooh. we go. Soft there into Bouncing Fish, the, the Sheik Classic. Oh, wow. Yeah, almost gets that, uh, that fade back. And uh, it breaks and it down. Old school style. Cool yeah. mode Yeah, get her a proud. cardboard box, man. Let's get it. Those moves are fucking fresh. <laughs> Good ev evasion there from Vince Zane. Being able to get out of trouble without having to commit to an air dodge. Wow. Surprises um, Laws right there. I uh, lost surprises Vince Zane with a nice little tilt. And uh, continuingly to, can you, ugh, English, I speak it fluently. <laughs> continuing to put damage on, but Law says, oh, you Yeah, smack your hand away. You know. Yeah, so good stuff there from Law. It's only taking 9% uh, after losing that first stock relatively early. Uh, the thing about the Ditto is that because, uh, you know, Sheik's going to succumb to Rage a lot earlier, you know, she does have, her, her kill options will kill at like a relatively normal percent. But a lot of the kills are probably going to come horizontally for Sheik just because she's pretty good at edge guarding herself. Right, and I do know that uh, Fair, this is pretty much Sheikville, Cloudville. I mean, Ness does a really, really yeah. good on uh, carry yeah, combos. And, and, yeah, any character with good horizontal combos on Smashville, you're going to... You're going to be in for a treat. Right, you're going to excel. But with the Bouncing Fish combo, I was told that you're supposed to DI in and up. So I yeah. have seen, D oh wow, Bouncing Fish land frequently in this matchup, and it's not just because we got a Sheik Ditto, but um, it does, uh, I was told that if you down, if you uh, actually uh, DI in for the throw, it pretty much makes it 50-50 for Sheik when where she would opt to then throw up air. Right. So um, we guess we're going to see a little bit more of that as the damage kind of just takes a turn to not being such a steep incline or uphill yeah. battle. Yeah, Vince ain't doing a good job kind of breaking up the pace, stay, uh, staying high on, stay, uh, taking the high ground, and it's over, Anakin. Uh, <laughs> I, kinda, I have the high ground, yeah. Anakin. Yeah, but he's kind of getting opened up a little bit right here. Laws, uh, all, all he really, if he just plays within his game, he's not going to really, uh, you know, lose to anything. Oh. Yeah, go for a very ambitious read right there. Definitely. I mean, maybe <laughs> he was reading from Chapter 11 and uh, yeah, Laws was still there on eight. Yeah, handed out yet. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, boy. Wow, this is going to get scary. Oh. And the re-grab. Oh, wow, no punish there. I was actually expecting down smash immediately from Laws. But uh, opting to play it safe, I mean, I respect that. Yeah. I like to see him use F throw, honestly, at, that, at those high percents. Oh, my God. That would have killed right there if it's connected. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's just like, when I see that move, it's just like, I just assume she goes, Stop! Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh god! There Stop! Go. I lost the contact. Where is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no! Yeah, the umpire. All right, so, Safe. Yeah, so good stuff right there uh, from Lods. Played a very close set right there was Vince Saint. Oh, Vince yeah. Saint Joe, that he's very, uh, you know, comfortable with the ditto. Yep. He uh, gets that uh, that ninja finish. He's Oak and Smoke is where uh, his hopes of winning that last match were up, but we're gonna get that run back. Interesting. I'm actually curious. I've seen Lods sometimes when he like wins a close set. 
he'll usually switch to another character just to kind of like break the break the pace a little bit. Right. You know, I know he plays Mario. I know he plays Ryu also. So, uh, you know, interesting to see. Ooh. Oh, my. Ooh. All right, Bo. I see you. I'm slightly <laughs> excited. <laughs> Take it outside, then. <laughs> Right, well, anyway, yeah, a good start right there from uh, from Laws. It looks like he might have gotten his uh, legs under. My God. Okay. He said, "Hey, you know that my friend Mario, he's yeah. got a combo just like this." <laughs> oh wow, the only smash that I've never seen and will never see again. Yeah, going for a hard punish right there. Jeez, F smash actually isn't too bad in regards to like punishes. You just have to get all the both the hits of it for it to really mean anything. Right. I don't know how much utility it has outside of a hard punish, and that's only uh, because I'm not. Punishing, it's good for punishing spot dodges. That's about the front of it. Okay. All right, so good stuff there from Laws. Going to set up uh, the edge with the grenade. Up, up air. Yeah. Really was hoping him for go down and hit that up air there, at least to get back on stage. Oh, well, there you go. All right, we did. Fish my wish. Here. Now I would like to win the lottery. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to get the lottery. <laughs> I'm going to get the last hit of uh, Sheik's up air. That will take the stock right there. And, uh, Laws looking relatively clean right now. And Vincent, hopefully he's not too rattled. I, you know, uh, I've, I've seen Vincent play before, and sometimes when he, you know, he gets down, he kind of gets within his own head. Oh right. my God! Ooh, that was cool. Um, at, but Vincent staying, keeping the pressure on, throwing out those back airs and just spacing properly. Uh, Nair really useful as a tool in this matchup. Throwing out affairs here and uh, looking for that bouncing fish. Oh, did he go too low? No, nah, he didn't go too deep. He's still in it. Yeah, he's she. Steven Saint trying to go for another hard punish on that up smash right there. I'd kind of like to see him play a little bit more reserved. Right. But uh, honestly, the other thing I didn't, I was expecting to see on stage was probably a little bit more of uh, short hop needles into um, Bouncing Fish. But it looks like he's just opting to continue to put the pressure on with damage and uh, not overextending himself and allowing for any uh, fair punishes. Ooh, Ooh wow. Yeah. Good read on the rollback there. Fox trot it in oh, there, and that's going to be an SD for insane. Yeah, no, we like to call it uh, stock canceling. Uh, so <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I saw, no, I saw the most disrespectful video about that, but I'll tell you about it afterwards. Right. And as we get Laws getting in here, he's just uh, slowly going to try to make that uh, ascent to getting his victory. Yeah, he has no rage. But yeah, the hard part about that SD right there is that uh, she's going to lose all the rage that she had because, you know, in order – is this going to be a lot more of a slugfest, or you can just go for the deepest bouncing fish? Uh, and I'm a little bit that deep. Moderately yeah. deep. Yeah, just swimming up soon, you know, salmons. It's yep. mating season, you know? Oh, oh, was that 2-0? I could have swore Vincent won one. No. Oh, Laws won them both. Oh, I'm it sorry. The, the marker up at the top uh, confused me for a yeah. second. I forgot that he won the first yeah, one. Yeah, Laws won the game. Yeah, <laughs> I apologize. He won, he won the set. <laughs> well, what, 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 I'm Steve Harvey, and Miss USA is Columbia. Columbia. My bad. <laughs> That's it's it's <laughs> that was just really funny because Vince Sane looked like that he won the set and Laws just looks like he's like lost. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so very confused. Yeah, about I'm, I have no clue. This is why I'm not usually like keen on Dittos. No, I'm lying. I love Dittos. You I know did, this personally yeah, with the negative Dittos. But uh, I did see this combo where this uh, this guy is like a, a GIF where. Uh, GIF GIF. Oh, please don't murder me. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, just just you out there, you. What, what is it? It's GIF, right? Or, I say GIF. It's GIF. It is GIF because it's like you don't lift a GIF bar in the mouth. I'm sorry. It's not GIF like the peanut butter. I mean, I could be wrong, too. I don't I'm know. really hungry. Just That's what it is. I love <laughs> I love peanut butter and, and, and jelly. It's amazing. But um, I saw this one where it's like Donkey Kong. He does like a cargo throw, and he's like like doing like the, his up air stuff. He's doing Donkey Kong stuff. And the combo stops working, so then he just kills himself and then comes back and then finishes the combo. <laughs> With no rage. Oh, ah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I've seen that because uh, the stock, your all your moves refresh when you come back from a fresh stock. So right. That's really funny. All right, so it looks like the gentleman entered the tag as enters. So it looks like he's waiting for his opponent. Enters, to, uh, enters the ring. Enters, yeah. gets him. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, just waiting for his opponent to step up to the stage. Not sure who that's going to be. Oh, it looks but, like we might have Raptor. Yeah, it looks like it might be Raptor. It is Raptor. It is Raptor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a Yoshi treat. Yes, sir, man. Uh, Mr. IQHQ Raptor, uh, you know, power ranked in New York. I forget where he falls in the rankings this season, but he's a very, very good player in his own right. One Definitely. of the best Yoshis in the country. Uh, don't sleep on this man. He's a, Yo he's a character specialist. He's a Yoshi loyalist. Played Yoshi in Brawl in uh, Project M oh, and did in, in this game. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so finally, it's really cool seeing, um, you know, players from Brawl who played, you know, really, really bad characters be able to perform well in this game because their characters finally get tools. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I would love to see, uh, you know, Bowser become great. That would be really cool. I know he's a lot better than he was in uh, previous iterations of the game. 
Uh, I, I really like seeing uh, other characters become viable that were normally just completely slept on. Yeah, man, for sure. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of the meta that came from Smash 4 and Brawl, like, then eventually was able to, like, uh, be retroactive, and people said, oh, he kind of has those same tools, and it just made yeah, Yoshi a little more, bit better. Yeah, more or less. 